1991, birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Just looking for attention. Whoa, you back at it trying to tame the beast, guys. Happy Tuesday with the Phoenix. Really crappy weather today in JFK. Really crappy weather. Ooh, what do we got here? A321 Neo, perhaps? That looks nice. You're a phoenix. Whoa. Uh oh. Arf is rolling. What's going on? What's going on, guys? Let's follow it. What's happening? Oh, no. We got an emergency up in JFK. Oh, Condor, a Condor livery that uh, looks half decent. Sort of. Much better than the normal Condor livery. Hee <laughs> hee. But we're not here to fly that Condor, we're here to fly the Phoenix. Here we go. Welcome back to another live stream here on the Simple Takeoff YouTube channel. Whether you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on Twitch, I bid the uh, warmest of welcome here on Tuesday evening. Uh, Cat Gary has made it bright and early on this, well, not bright, dark and early here on this uh, Tuesday evening. Cat Gary, I hope you're uh, well fed, you're feeling good, and you're ready to go because. Uh, I hope you're feeling better than the weather is feeling in JFK tonight, because it is not looking good, man. It's The TAF is looking all sorts of weird. The METAR is showing all sorts of vertical visibilities and ceilings and overcast. It's just looking like a brutal weather in uh, JFK in terms of visibility, but never mind that. Hopefully we'll have an alternate IFR, alternate to file from uh, Synbrief in case we need that. I'm not going to care tonight whether we're legal or not, because guess what? We're in the simulator and we don't have to worry about that mumbo jumbo, do we? Well, we got a spirit over there. But uh, let's get started, guys. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. We do have Vatsim online, so it's going to be a good one. 
So we are at the Foxtrot 33, or correction, we're at the 33 uh, gate here on the Charlie Concourse uh, up in JFK. So let's get things started and let the chat slowly join. Let's go ahead and... And by the way, guys, the Phoenix has been updated and I installed the latest update. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we'll have a better than landing than the slammer we had into Cancun last night. Be sure to check that one out. It wasn't, uh, wasn't fun to go through that one, folks. I'll tell you that. My back still hurts. All right, let's go Jetway connecting. And we have the GPU set up. Let's go ahead and go up over here to our handy dandy battery one, battery two check and let it come alive here we go we'll get our nav lights working definitely gonna what are my wipers doing okay we'll give that a minute perhaps i saw your setup in discord it looks really good thanks cat gary i try to keep it kind of as uh, clean as possible thanks cat gary i appreciate that guys why aren't our wipers working oh they're working oh Guys, they took away the annoying sound. Guys, guys, guys. Is this... Look, I was even thinking like it's not working because it's so quiet now, but I love that. That makes it totally functional now. Because I can't keep that thing on when it's going like... Eh, 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 eh. That's beautiful. So maybe that's part of the update because that it made a sound before as uh, late as last night. So let's uh, test the CVR. Ooh... Look, that's a, that's a new sound. I remember before it would go like, oh no, okay, no, that's, never mind. That is the same sound. I thought they changed it to a ding. That was just the systems coming online. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and put this on no smoking, put this on armed. Let's get lots of light over here because we're going to need it. ND, PFD, ND, PFD, ECAM, screens, cool, pull this bad boy, swirl it around, all right, let's go here, let's get the pack sported, shall we? I'm going to take some extra fuel for sure tonight because we, um, who knows what the weather's doing, winter flying in North America, especially leaving JFK. Let's take 900 pounds more. Captain's orders. We'll go that. We'll go recent load sheet. And we'll go load aircraft. And we'll go over here. Um, we'll open our, uh, operational flight plan in Simbrief and we'll start doing some work here on the McDo. First of all, air act cycle is good till November. That's check. We'll come over here. We'll go AOC menu, flight initialization. We'll Delta 386 tonight. Service from JFK, good old Big Apple to uh, Atlanta. So that's it. We'll request that. We'll uh, insert that there. And we're cost indexing 6, 380, ISO deviation of plus 6. 6 on the cost index, 380 on the cruising altitude. And uh, I said ISO deviation plus 6. So we'll go set that. We'll set that, we'll set that, we'll set that. We'll come over here, request the winds, and we'll get a preliminary METAR. Kilo, uh, what do we got? Juliet, uh, Foxtrot, Kilo, weather. All right.
Let's see what the Mitar is looking like, guys. Officially. So, we're in lifetime live weather, 2318. So, as of 2251, so half an hour ago, winds are calm, well, calm six knots out of the east, half a statue mile. That was the shittiness I'm talking about with the weather tonight, guys. We have runway four visual range between 3,500 to 4,500 feet. Four right. So we got a little bit of uh, basically visibility problem on the east of the field-ish. All right, mist overcast 200. Ceilings are very low as you can, you don't need the METAR to tell you that one. Look at that. Um, Again, if you're just joining us, welcome both on YouTube and Twitch, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your time, and I uh, hope you enjoy the show. 3004, surface visibility, three quarter miles, sea level pressure, uh, 1017.2 hectopascals, hourly temperature 17.8, and dew point 17.8. So we'll go 3004. That's what I'll take away from this. We'll go 30 or 4 here, once, twice. That's 1017, by the way. All right, that's it. Uh, IRSs are aligning, that's checked. Let's go on that. Delta 386. And uh, Simbrief did not give me a uh, SID. We'll see if we get a SID from uh, ATC. We got JFK Ground Online. We got New York Center Online. We got, beautiful. JFK ATIS is 128.725. Let's go here, make sure our voice is good. Push the talk is set, check, 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 check. That's good. Uh, 128,725, so, oh, oh, did we already get a pre-departure clearance? Pre-departure clearance, start, call sign, Delta 8386, all right, squawk 1517, final altitude 380, make sure I see that correctly, approved route, JFK 5, so we got the JFK Kennedy 5 departure, all right, thank you for that, sir. So we'll go here, we'll go departure, uh, let's see what runway we got. Maintain 5,000, I'll enter that, 5,000 set. Um, JFK, expect fly runway heading to the Kennedy 1.5 DME, then turn right heading uh, 100, uh, which is cool. Plan runway four left for departure. Perfect. For let's go four left. Ver, uh, JFK five departure. Insert and uh, what's the rest of my route looking like? We got JFK Romeo Bravo Victor, and that's actually if I look at the JFK departure real quick with you guys. I shall bring you over here. Alright, this is the Kennedy 5 radar vector departure. 4 left, climb right, turn heading 010. Sorry, 100. Pretty much it. Runway heading. So four left, four left is, we're gonna be basically pushing back probably nose left, and then taxiing four left via whatever, four left right there. 
Yeah, we're gonna go runway heading and then bust the right. Gotcha. Thank you. Contact Kennedy Ground on frequency 121.9 for taxi. All right, so we don't need to call for push. Let's go 121.9, that's ground frequency. All right, but before that, let's get the ATIS. Uh, what did I say the ATIS was? 128.725. 128.725. Can we receive the ATIS? All right, no problem. We'll just double click it. We got information Delta. Delta checks 3004. Okay, cool. Rafael Pereira's in the house. Safe flight. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Rafael. Hopefully, we'll have a softer landing than yesterday, man. Delta. All right, we got information Delta. And uh, let me guess, the passengers are done boarding. All right, that's cool. Um, our our uh, arrival into a hot Lana is going to be... Per sim brief, the way the Atlanta's doing eight left, okay, and we're doing Aussie one. There we go, Aussie one flask. I believe it's from flask. Yep, insert that, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Radar vectors, Romeo Bravo Victor VR. So we're going to turn it around basically. All right. Rafael Pereira says, Of course you will, brother. Thanks, Rafael. Very kind, man. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a good Tuesday and uh, you'll enjoy the show. Let's go constraint. Let's go constraint. Let's go plan. Let's go here. So I'm cool with that disc on RBV and then from RBV, let's try that again. All right, we're going to do a downwind for eight left. So they're not going to do two sixes unless it changes on us. Okay, so that's cool. That's checked. Uh, that's uh, loading is complete so we're gonna go up to the overhead panel let's go ahead and turn on our fuel pumps let's go turn on our seatbelt signs let's turn on the APU and we got a company message let's check it out real quick Compliance 125,000 pounds is the zero fuel weight with a mean aerodynamic cord zero fuel weight of 30.4. We got 21 on that, but how much we block in person brief? Our plan is 20, we'll call it 20.2. We'll call it 20.3. All right. Uh, taxi fuel is going to be 500 pound, uh, pounds. All route reserve is going to be 1.5. Our alternate is going to be 4.4. And our final reserves are going to be 2.5. All right.
happy there. I'll just set this from now so I always have my little bearings. Alright, we're departing for left. So, for left, runway, we'll put wet, we'll put, I, bet, I believe it's raining, right? Light, light rain. Huh, it actually looks dry, okay. Let's check that weather one more time. So as of 25, 651 Zulu, why is this forward? Doesn't look like we have much rain, so we'll just go dry. We'll just go dry. Flaps one, packs on. All right, let's see what we got. We got 52, we got a higher, a little bit of higher speeds today. 52, 52, 53. All right. How long is four left? Oh, we got 12,000 feet runway, okay. All right, um, which is the reason why V1 and VR are so close. We got flaps, one down point one and 64. post reduction acceleration is 1020. So APU bleed coming on. Raphael, yeah, Delta three eighty six. Alright, APU bleed is on. We're good to go there. Hudson King Chavez is in the house. He says, uh, can I see your settings? Hudson King, uh, yeah, what do you want to see? The graphics? Because we're in real time, so I can't pause this in for too long, but here you go. These are my graphics. You can pause it if you want after. Go back and pause it. been looking blurry it might be your internet connection maybe um maybe your photogrammetry like it it's trying to load the photogram but if your internet is not doing good then sometimes i've noticed my ground looks all messed up not too sure Memories are more powerful when we make them together, shared with friends and loved ones. Every flight is a chance to celebrate together. And when we celebrate, we connect the world. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. And thank you for flying with Delta. Our first priority on every flight is the health and safety of our customers and crew. So before we depart, please pay attention to this important safety message. Be sure that all carry-on items are securely stowed in Hudson the King Chavez, if it's, it's just items, looking blurry, you don't know why. The seat in front of you. If you lose hmm. your electronic device in your seat, please do not adjust your seat and ask a crew member for assistance. Please ensure all aisles... Have you tried renaming, uh, rename your community folder to sure your see if you can load in and uh, see if it has to do anything with that? 
adjust the strap so it's low yeah, inside if, the If it strap. stops being blurry, to then maybe the belt, it's something in the community the top of the buckle. If your seat has a shoulder harness, secure it by attaching the metal tip to the fitting on the belt. To release, remove the metal tip and allow the shoulder harness to retract. Please remain seated with your seat belt securely fastened anytime the seat belt sign is on. Even well. if the sign is off, please so we'll keep push your back seat belt fastened to whenever left. you're seated in case of sudden rough air. In the event of rough air, the crew might also need to buckle up for safety. We apologize if this means our service is interrupted. Federal regulations require all passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted information signs located throughout the cabin in addition to any crew member's instructions. Smoking, the use of e-cigarettes, or any smokeless product, including chewing tobacco, is not allowed on any Delta flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying restroom smoke detectors. There are eight exits on this plane, eight doors, four on each side. Each door has a detachable slide that can be used as a raft. In the event of an evacuation, leave all carrying items behind. All exits are clearly marked with a green symbol. Arrows indicate the direction to these exits. Please take a moment to find the exits closest to you, and remember, they might be behind you. If there's a loss of power, lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels inside the lavatories and above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, we right, just pull the mask or red streamer towards you until the tube is fully extended to start the flow of oxygen. One, five, Place the mask over your nose one, and mouth. Seven. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Ground Be sure to adjust one, your two, own one, mask before having others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are in a and compartment beneath or adjacent to your seat. To use, departure. remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Slip the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, and attach it to the buckle in front and adjust securely around your waist. As you three, leave two, the five. plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab at the bottom of the vest or manually inflate it by blowing into the tube at shoulder level. A water-activated light is attached to each vest. For children who weigh less than 35 pounds, place the vest around the infant's waist and secure the strap between the legs. Refer to the safety information card Perfect. for more information. Additional light vests for in-lap children are located Guys, in a marked compartment in the front and rear of the plane. We'll distribute these vests if necessary. Now before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are at resting position, and your tray table is put away. If you have a sweet door, ensure it is open. Please note that there is a placard on the door, visible when closed, explaining how to use the sweet door in case of an emergency. Please take a moment to review the safety the information card, which is in your seat pocket. As we come through the cabin for our final safety check, please let us know if you have any questions. Wherever your celebrations take you, thanks for choosing Delta to fly you there. Now, as we get ready for takeoff, please settle in and have a wonderful flight. Thank you for flying with Delta. All right, first of all, we're squawking 1517 and we're uh, locked and loaded. Or India, one or two heavy. You're coming in quiet. It's hard to pick up. Parking brake is set. Okay, sir. It's called uh, ambitious pilot pushback uh, toolbar toolbar pushback. Ambitious to pilot to toolbar pushback. Okay. You can just Google it. Uh, it's uh, on flightsim.to. It's on flightsim.to. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. Yeah, we'll start in the sequence. Air India 102, I okay. guess. Highly secure, better, but take time if you need it. Call when you're ready to fully taxi. Let's go starting engine number one. Rafael Pereira says, my wife Camila wants a shout out. Shout out Camila. Thank you for letting Rafael enjoy the show. Shout out, shout out. All right, here we go. N2, fuel flow, EGT rising, N1, pressure building. Looking good. Flight from uh, Hudson King Shadow says flight from San Francisco to Los Angeles. We had engine failure, so landing back at. Damn! That's hectic, Hudson King. 
Make sure you secure that engine nicely. Good start. I think we got the Frontier pushing back as well. Starting engine number two. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Ground. Startup is complete. You may disconnect. Roger. Good engine start. Clear it to disconnect. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. Alright. Got information Delta still. We got Bilal Faizi. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you, sir, for your subscription. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, Bilal. All right, that's available. Look, we got two good engines. Let's go APU bleed off. APU off. Taxi light. Wing light. Uh, beacon light, forgot that one. Strobe, we'll go ahead and strobe it up. We'll keep these off for now. We'll cycle that, we'll let them know we're ready to go. We'll go max on that, we'll go... Kennedy ground, every one, two, three. There. We'll go... Air trim. India, one, two, heavy. Taxi to runway, four left. We have taxi ray, golf. Point one. Alpha, kilo. Holding Flux point one. kilo one. Taxi to runway uh, zero four left via call. Alpha kilo holding point kilo one. Air India one zero two. Flight controls. Full left. Neutral. Full right. Neutral. Full aft. Neutral. Full forward. Neutral. Check. Full, full right on the rudder neutral, full left neutral. Rudder and flood control check complete. Oh boy, and the width visibility is really... Let's get out of here before it gets to uh, low visibility procedures or something like that. <coughs> Alright, where are we? Um, we're at the Charlie Concourse. Near ground, Delta 386 pushed back at the Charlie Concourse. Uh, request taxi four left with information Delta. Delta 386, Kennedy ground. Taxi to runway four left via taxiway November Charlie Bravo Kilo holding point Kilo one. Taxi four left via November Charlie Bravo Kilo holding point Kilo one Delta 386. All right. November Charlie straight up. Let's get it. Let's see how this new uh, Phoenix update is looking like, guys. Alright, welcome to the chat, welcome to YouTube, Twitch, wherever you're watching from. November Charlie Bravo, so it's going to be the second one. This is Alpha, second one's going to be Bravo, and then Kilo. Let's take a left right here. And guys, one thing that is a clear advantage in terms of uh, X-Plane's aesthetics is um, 
the runway lighting system, the the airport lighting system. I just find in X plane it looks so bright and so just so nice and so noticeable. I feel like it's more consistent with how it looks in real life than the lighting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But that's pretty much like the only fault you can give Microsoft against X plane when it comes to like how it looks, right? So we're going to go straight and then left on Bravo. We are on Bravo, we'll basically just remain on Bravo. So red lighting here. Oh, we got city lights. That's so funny. The traffic, there's like interstate traffic crossing by the airport. Lock time. Let's not forget that. So this is November. Next one's gonna be Alpha. We're gonna remain on Bravo. So we're crossing Alpha right here. That's Bravo. Keep it coming on Bravo. Beautiful. Quick little taxi up in JFK. And guys, if you're wondering how to uh, speak on VATSIM, I have a tutorial that takes you through from JFK to LA. Check out the tutorials playlist or put exclamation point tutorial in chat. Air India 102 Heavy, contact New York Center now, on 125 decimal 325. Have a nice flight. Contact New York Center on 125 decimal 325. SFO to LAX, uh, no idea, maybe Southwest? Not too sure, Hudson King off the top of my head. So we're going to need to cross this runway when we get to Kilo. I don't believe he told us to cross, so I'm going to double check that. Ground is Delta 386 clear to cross 3-1 uh, left at Kilo. Delta 386, affirmative, you are clear to cross runway 3-1 left at Kilo. Clear to class 31 left at Kilo Delta 386. <coughs> Perfect. All right. Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. Not looking good, folks. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, light ourselves up. You can see the light reflect off the fog.
All right, this is Kilo Delta. Next one coming should be Kilo. Right here. All right, we're clear to cross. We're lit up. We're strobing. Clear on the left, we are clear on the left, clear on the right. Let's quickly cross and actually TCAS. Coming on. All right, runway is cleared. Cool. Long taxi tonight. Out of the big old apple, the big old apple. Bumpy, literally. All right, this is Kilo 3. Delta 386, contact New York Center now, 125 decimal 325. Have a nice flight. Uh, confirmed Delta 386 was cleared for takeoff? Negative, negative. Delta 386, contact New York Center on oh, gotcha. 125.325. Delta will be clearance. Over to New York Center, 125-325, Delta 386. Good night. Good night. All right. 125-3, I kind of got confused there for a second. 125-325. So that's Kilo 2, and we're going to go holding point Kilo 1. So we're going to get our takeoff clearance from center real quick. But first, we're going to hold short the runway. Perfect. Parking brake set. 125, 325, 132. Center, 15 Delta. 115 Delta, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, inadvertent IMC, and I just hit reserve fuel. Can I get basic vectors to Farmingdale, please? November 15 Delta fly present heading. Uh, Hudson Farmdale King, Airport. I did all my graphic settings through um, the, the Microsoft Flight Simulator itself because when I did it outside of uh, outside of it through NVIDIA Control Panel for the anti aliasing and the V Sync, for some reason I was I stopped being able to stream. So I keep it all within the software. Air India 102, Raider Contact, climb and maintain 17,000. American 2140, clear direct sex. Sex. <coughs> clear direct sex, uh, American 2140. Center, hello, Delta 386, holding short four left at uh, Kilo 1, ready for departure. Delta 386, turn right heading 100, runway four left, you're clear for takeoff. Right heading 100, runway four left, clear for takeoff, uh, Delta 386. All right, right heading 100. American 2170, level American 2170, New York Center, good evening. Descend via the Cory 4 arrival, LaGuardia, altimeter 3003. Final. Godspeed, can't see anything. American 2140, descend and maintain flight level 270. I'm uh, flight level 270, American 2140.
What a dreary night, guys. Iberia 62, uh, 65, Welcome 21, trying to maintain 2,000. I'm 2,000, Iberia 61. Air India 102, proceed direct merits. Set the call for us. Proceed direct to merit, Air India 102. <laughs> JetBlue 1920 New York. Manflex 64SRS runway out of thrust blue. Let's get on center line. And thrust is set. Check. 80 knots. Cross check. High V1. Rotate. Iberia 6521, turn right, heading Into the super go, positive rate of climb, gear up. Sunrise, 330, Iberia 6521. 300. Sorry, 300 there. Iberia 6521. Air India 102, proceed direct, merit. Uh, right, 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 turn direct on takeoff. Uh, 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 my apologies, proceed direct, correcty, correcty. Center 15 Delta has Teterboro in sight off the thrust top. climb, climb out of thrust, flaps clean. And 15 Delta, that's pretty good since Teterboro is behind you, Framingham's in front of you. Uh, correct, my apologies, did I say Teterboro? I meant uh, Framingham. Skip that climb, climb. has eyes in the back of his head. Apparently I do. Deflected as well. November 15 Delta, wind 1006, runway 14, you're clear to land. 14, clear to land. It looks like the, the fog the was just like literally over the field. That's it. Center low, Delta 386, uh, 2000 climbing, 5000, uh, 100 heading. Delta 386, uh, New York Center, radar contact. Climb and maintain 8,000. Up to 8,000, Delta 386. Iberia 6521, 5 miles from Zebel. Turn right heading All right, zero, let's one, keep zero. that coming up to 8,000. Maintain 2,000 full established. Third ILS, 4 right approach. Third ILS, 4 right approach, turning 010, zero, zero. Iberia 6521, and we'll maintain until established. Delta 386, turn right heading 220. Right heading 220, Delta 386. Swing it around for us, beautiful. Keep that right turn coming. Let's go ground spoilers. Disarm. Beautiful night all over the all the BS in uh, New York City. All the weather. Looking good. American 2140, contact Boston, center 134.7. 34.7 for American 2140, yeah. Iberia 6521. All right, let's level off. Wind 0904, runway four right, you're clear to land. Four right, clear to land, Iberia 6521. And center one five delta is fake. Traffic in sight. Farmingdale at runway uh, taxi vehicle. And farming and one five delta you can taxi parking vehicle. Get FMS vehicle, data delta manager. I believe the, I'll check for you, Hudson. No, okay. Hudson King, one second. New York Center, American sixteen zero two flight level. It's three, called four, Nav Data two, Center. Inbound. Nav Data Center. It's a program you download from Navigraph. Let's go auto pilot, pilot on. 1602, Cleveland, Beautiful evening, departure. So 220 center. on the heading, 8000. Speed, alt star heading, autopilot 1. Check. New York center. And uh, we can go ahead and turn off the seat. Actually, I'll keep the seatbelt signs on until. American 1602, descend to maintain flight level 280, report back. Yeah, Hudson King Chavez, get uh, Nav Data Center. 
That way you can uh, update the ARAC cycle for all your aircrafts like that. You, if you have the Phoenix, PMDG, it's all done through that. Delta 386, proceed direct Robbinsville, climb and maintain 14,000. Direct Robbinsville, if you are, and up to 14,000, Delta 386. American 2170, contact we'll air approach 120.8. Thrust climb, open climb, out 1400 blue. Nav, we got Robbinsville VOR direct. Beautiful guys. American 2170, contact New York approach 120.8. We got out of the suit nice and fast. Overcast was at 200. Descent and maintain 5000. Chat wanted VATS in traffic today. Chat got VATS in traffic. Center, American 1180, what's your at? American 1180, New York Center, good evening. So we got 3.4 on the pressure differential, 500 and 2350 cabin altitude, 500 climbing, check. We got 10,000. Let's go seatbelt signs off. Let's go landing lights. Clean. All right. Flight attendants do their thing. 1 for 14,000. Cool. And center 15 Delta, last call. Thank you for all the help and good night. Have a good night. Thank you very much. We got Miss Mr. Nick Briang. Next, Mr. Nick Briang with a subscription to our channel. Thank you so much. Welcome Delta to the. Delta three eighty six. Final maintain level three eight zero. Up to flight level three eight zero. Delta three eighty six. Welcome to the Simple uh, Takeoffs family, my friend. Thank you for your subscription. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you love our streams. I hope you love our plane spotting videos. And I hope. Uh, Air India one zero two. Contact Boston Center one three four. Three eight zero blue. I hope you uh, really enjoy our content here. And you'll be a subscriber for a long, long time, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Spare wings, 1173, turn right heading. Turn right heading 140. Right heading 140. So, Delta 12 happy with you, uh, 15,000. So, 22, uh, New York Center, proceed direct Lana, climb and maintain, flight level 400. Flight level 400 and direct Lana for Delta 23. Spirit Wings 1173, descend and maintain 3000. 3000, Spirit Wings 1173. JetBlue 12, uh, JetBlue 1920, contact New York approach 120.8. And guys, if you're just joining us, we are on live weather and we are on live time. And Iberia 6521, Tina Tanks will be a Foxtrot Alpha, Foxtrot, Ross Runway 4 left, contact ground point 9. Foxtrot Alpha, Foxtrot, one contact ground point 9. Iberia 6521. On board your center, this is Papa Mike Bravo 2 at 10,000 feet with you. Mm -hmm. Papa Mike Bravo 2, New York Center, proceed to Bridgeport, VR. Jet Blue 420, are you with me? Yeah, just, just come online now. Uh, Jet Blue 420 is with you. 10,000. Jet Blue, Jet Blue 420, proceed direct to Merit, climb and maintain 17,000. Direct to Merit, uh, climb and maintain 17,000, Jet Blue 420. Papa Mike, Bravo 2, proceed direct to Bridgeport, Bravo, Bravo Delta Romeo. Bravo Delta Romeo. Then Jeff Blue 1920, are you with me? Hudson King, you're not going to regret getting Navigraph. It's a really, really good uh, good experience to fly with Navigraph, man. You yeah, feel like everything just gets easier. You don't have to struggle to see where you're going and all that. Struggle to see where you're taxiing. American 412, New York Center, reset transponders, Fox 7147. 7147, Let's go standard on the barrel. 
coming yeah, through flight level 180. Twelve and a half or one two thousand information delta. American 40, uh, 4674 New York Center, thanks for information Delta. New York Center, Papa Mike Bravo 2 with you. 10,000. Okay, Papa Mike Bravo 2, New York Center, do you copy? New York Center, American 1602 established 28,000 feet. Going to this, it's probably going to change by the time we get there, but just so we have something in the box. Oh wow, what's going on here? Ten minutes ago, one eight zero at twelve gusting twenty four. So we're landing eight. For landing eight. Oh boy, do we have to switch it to two six maybe? Otherwise, it's going to be a 24 gusty crosswind. 10 satchel miles, broken, broken, overcast at Jeff 600. Blue 420, contact Boston Center 134.7. 29087. American 4674, the center maintained, 900,000. 900,000, American 4674. And the spear wings 1173, turn left heading 070, join the localizer. So rain beginning at 21 o'clock, ending at 3. Four twelve, send via the quarry for arrival. Run a LaGuardia altimeter three zero zero. At two ten and ending at three. Which is ten ten. So in a couple hours. Probably right when we get there. No precipitation on the hourly. Uh, six hour precipitation amount is zero. Temperature 22.8 hourly and dew point 12.8. Maximum. Uh, what is that? Maximum. Three hour temperature is 25.6. Minimum three hour temperature is 22.8. Pressure is rising. This is either maximum, minimum, uh, six hour temperature or three hour. I think it's three hour. Cool. So what's our uh, ILS minimum? Yeah, approach one Mike Alpha is with you out of uh, 17,000 for 12,000. Uh, November one Mike Alpha, New York Center. Cross Calverton 11000, court crash across Calverton 12000 at 250 knots, the Kennedy altimeter 3004. Right, copy that, Calverton 12000 uh, feet, 250 knots, one mic up. Hmm, eight left. All right, so we got 12.15 on the decision altitude. And no. We'll put that for now. And then if it changes, it November changes. November 8, November, Papa, leaving my airspace. Atlantic City approach is closed. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, November 4, 8, November, Papa. I appreciate your help. Have a good night. American uh, 46, uh, 4674, depart rover heading 250. Rover heading 250, American 4674. And we said we're going to take Aussie 1 down to Atlanta. We'll go... American, 47, American 4674, contact New York Approach 128.12. 128.12, American 4674. This is for 8 left. F 
I believe it was a flask transition. So flask, yelled, show, tune. November 1, Mike, Alpha contact, near approach 128.12. Flask Guild, Show, T Dunn, Wilson, Mahani, Tej, G Bake winning, Ozzy, G Bake winning, Ozzy 14,000. 14. Oh, that's interesting. What are you doing, Vinav? Ozzy didn't pick it up, huh? Landing east, expect to cross. Landing west, expect to cross. 12,000. Landing east, expect to cross. 14,000. So, we're going to go with Aussie 14,000. That'll fix up our path. And then based on that... Um, Alright, 31, 31, any chance so we're gonna we go can maybe left go uh, 210, on this, the pop the CBs are right killer, here, 117, gas cloud. Uh, 117. American 21, 51, stand by, heading off the boss. Yeah, it's perfect. That looks good. The speed restrictions after that. There are the altitude restrictions, but none really. And then we said for the... Uh, actually, how do we pin this? Can I pin this? Is that it? Nope. Oh, that's marking it up. That's interesting. Self-22 greater contact lost. Approach. American 1602, descend and maintain, flight level 220. Uh, we got ILS 8 left. There we go. Start. American 1602. Judge at 5,000. Is that jet 731, you with me? Okay, it's bringing Thank us you. on from Bazaar. 4,000. Perfect. 2,000, what is this? 2,900 at Shell. We got 2,900 at show. ILS minimum, 12.15. As we fly over beautiful New York City, look at that. Delta 386 contact, New York Center 132.17. 3217, uh, Delta 386. Good night. Okay. 3217. American 1602, contact, New York Center 132.17. Contact, New York Center 132.7. 1702 cross beauty at a maintain 10 thousand. Cross beauty at 10 thousand Center hello Delta 386 flight level 320 climbing flight level 380. Delta 386 near center good evening direct to Mike Oscar Lima. Direct Mike Oscar Lima for Delta 386. That's a big shortcut. Houston 1169, cross the mark, at a maintain by level 180. That's a big shortcut. <coughs> cross mark, at maintain Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. As we take that left turn, bank angle check. I wonder what field that is.
Philly. Was that Philly? That must that, that must, must be Philly. Yeah, well, guys. 14, that's Philadelphia right there over our left wing. What's your 0 point 8? City of Zero. brotherly love, Philly. Shout out. Center. Good evening, American. Or at least a uh, airport around Philly, if not Philly Cold. itself. Cold. American 16 here at the Center around here. Wow, look at the stars, guys. That looks so good. Thank you. You need sim link yet yeah. uh hudson king that's another thing you got to download and just let it run in the background it's simi link there uh, even <clears throat> you can get it from the right? same website navigraph what sim link does i believe uh, hudson king it allows uh this um seven one one four can force hold on serving 17 zero two contact new york approach one two zero point eight connect over there approaching. It allows uh, the simulator to uh, track your aircraft and send the data to all the Navigraph servers. So whether you're on your iPad or your iPhone, you'll get to see exactly where you are, your GPS position in real time. That's why you need SimLink. We're maintaining 340. American 420, clear direct to Wozy. Clear direct to Wozy, American 420. We said Aussie. 3108 is radar contact, 30 miles northwest of Harrisburg. At twelve three seven zero. Thank Some you. So Aussie for planning for Aussie at uh, fourteen thousand. And we're at three eight zero. That's twenty four times three seventy two. We'll call it seventy five. American 1602 cross clip right at maintain one two twelve thousand. All right. That's the top of our descent. Zero. Coming up in about uh, 450 um, miles ish, American probably. 1602, say again, please. American 1602, Cross Clipper, Charlie, Lima, India, Papa, Romeo. Oh. At and maintain 12,000, Baltimore altimeter, 3000. American 1602, Cross. Three eighty six, uh, Washington tonight is closed. Frequency change approved. Over Unicom Delta three eighty six. Thanks for the ATC tonight. Bye bye. All right, we're flying over Washington Center. One twenty two decimal eight. All right, cool. Unicom. Guys, I'll be right back. Gotta hit the lab.
suavemente y bésame lo quiero saber hasta Dios suavemente y bésame I can't believe how nice this looks guys with the uh, clouds scattered over the city let's see where are we flying over right now Jacksonville, Virginia, I guess, or yeah, maybe Maryland, Jacksonville, Virginia, Maryland. Da, 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 da. Looking good. That's a King Chavez. Uh, so I'm I have to be extremely like careful with what I play because I already got a copyright uh, claim, not a strike, but a claim. Um. So yeah, and that gave me a lot of headache, man. He says my friend made it. Yeah, it, it's YouTube is extremely picky. You ask any YouTuber, they'll tell you like it, it's very hard for them to play any song. It isn't a copyright song. I mean, we can maybe try playing a few seconds of it and see how it turns out. And then I'll uh, see if I get any claims or anything tomorrow. Maybe I can play like 10 seconds. What's it called? Is that, is that on YouTube? Naughty Boppin Kyle Rich is your friend? There's like reaction videos to this man. It says Naughty Boppin Kyle Rich reaction. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is very stream friendly. Rich Naughty Bob, I think I found it. Official video. I had to king, I'll check it out for like a few seconds and then I'll check it out after the stream in full. the video it kind of reminds me of um, uh, what do you call it uh, like UK rap yeah I gotta keep like playing it like this Chavez That's dope. I like it. Let 
near your drill. That's awesome, man. Tell your friend keep grinding. I like the video. We'll check it out tomorrow, Hudson uh, King. See how my uh, the status of this stream will be. <laughs> I hope I don't get a copyright claim. Because it doesn't have to be necessarily the author. Sometimes like YouTube just slaps one on. YouTube's uh, funny like that. Clouds look dope. Oh, we need a water, one sec. sound of the engine you guys hear that like whoa, that drone sound let me pause the music I think it wasn't that loud before maybe that was part of the update I forgot to say it tonight, as usual, for whoever's watching in the background that doesn't feel like chatting, hello my friend, salute to you, thanks for watching, kick your feet up, have a nice hot tea or whatever makes you relax, and uh, chill with the Simple Take House live stream as usual, thank you guys, really appreciate you guys, all of you. That's a cool view, seeing the stars. How do you get altitude restriction points? You mean like Ento enter one, an artificial one? It should pick it up in the FMS. So once you update your latest ARAC cycle, Hudson King, it should uh, pick it up in the Phoenix. Dragon 38, American 2148, landing line 65 departure. Uh, one transition passing 2200, landing uh, flight level. Uh, Reagan traffic, I thought someone was doing like a river visual or something. Yeah, those should automatically show up, Hudson King, once you update your ARAC cycle, then once you d uh, enter your departure, either your standard instrument departure or your standard terminal arrival route in the McDo, those restrictions should automatically be populated. It's not showing for you? Yeah, I mean, as long as you make sure you have nav data center and everything is updated, uh, oh yeah, and make sure Phoenix is updated. Um, yeah, it should work. Try another one. Maybe try another departure or SID. Sixteen minutes. Let's see that again. Oh, okay. You know what time it is. Ramp delays. 
our actual incorrect uh, departure time. Was it 17 minutes? Sixteen minutes. Was it zero delta one or zero delta five? How do you close this? Whoop. Uh incorrect departure time, zero delta one. That's cool. We'll send that through. Brendan Beery, welcome to the chat, brother. Definitely some new sounds. This is a good update. No longer impossible to land smoothly. More control. By the way, hello. Uh oh, Brendan, are you saying the pressure is on now? I'm not allowed a smasher. Is that what you're, is that what we're saying here? Happy Tuesday, man. Welcome. Yeah, I'm noticing all these little things. The sounds are definitely cooler. Um, We'll see how the landing goes. In a, in a weird way, Brendan, um, I kind of like the challenge because like, if it becomes easy to land, then like it becomes like every other aircraft, right? Uh, well, I should be careful what I'm saying. Those are huge claims. <laughs> On the main menu, once you click arrival, is it still glitched or no? What do you mean, Hudson King? Main menu, where? Remind me what we're talking about. That is a nice thing, Brandon. That is a start. It actually responds to side stick inputs. That's good. You mean it actually listens to me when, when it says like 40, 30, 20, and I'm like freaking pumping that stick like there's no tomorrow and nothing happens? You mean now it'll start listening? It's all about that rate of descent. Guys, I have something to throw out here and tell me if I'm asking for too much. I just thought of this, like, is it asking for too much if we want s not all of these, but some of these stars to be a little dynamic? Like if they can maybe put a little s twinkle of a sparkle in it so it kind of goes like it glimmers back and forth. It, it shines back and forth that would really and like imagine every like 20 seconds you see a little meteorite just go by like when i look at a star, sky like this it looks so magical but it just looks like they copy pasted a photo right and i'm not saying have a freaking accurate accurate representation of the galaxy or anything like that but just just a, like a spot kind of like here and there some of these bright ones make them like maybe shine a little bit have a couple comets fly by now that would be absolutely mind-blowing what do you guys think Sobo, do it up.
got a new subscriber to the channel. Welcome, my friend. I'm not going to pretend like I can read your name, but I really appreciate your support. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy our live streams here on Simple Takeoffs. Welcome to the family, my friend. Welcome. Thanks for your support. Look away. That looks so good. I really like how the Airbus cockpit looks, I'm not gonna lie. It just looks so nice and neatly laid out. Pretty much halfway there. Not too far from the top of the set. About 15 minutes maybe. Equal time point coming up in about 50 miles. We'll do our landing performance based on 8 left, but we'll see what runway they're landing once we get closer. Let's see, can I get the ATIS? So we have Atlanta Center online, but it doesn't look like we have Atlanta ATIS. Alright, that's fine. Maybe I'll do a quick... Uh, um, We'll refresh our METAR for Atlanta real quick. Just to make sure it hasn't been changed. Okay, so it's still the same. within it's every hour so it makes sense Da, 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 da. 
Oh yeah, we can go TCAS actually. Oh, look what I forgot. We've been on start mode this whole time. Naughty, naughty. Uh, let's go TCAS on on all. Looking good. There comes our transition point for our descent. TOD is not for another hundred or so miles after that. So I meant transition point for the standard terminal arrival route, not our descent. I'm going to descend around Aussie. Can't get enough of that sky. Ladies and gentlemen, let me put on some smooth jazz as we make our way down into Atlanta. In a few, we'll be 
be starting our descent in about 20 minutes. The weather in Atlanta is 23 degrees. The winds, they're gusting. They're gusting out of the south. But that's not a concern, because you all got indoor plans. Your indoor folks, on behalf of Delta Airlines, we do hope you fly with us again and would like to thank you for flying with us. Cabin crew, would you be so kind as to please, graciously, prepare the cabin for an arrival. Thank you. So we said we're going to land with 11.2, we currently have 14.6, so that's, uh, th what is that, 3.4, yeah, 3.4 minus, what's our gross weight, 139, so 136.2, 136.2, Got, uh, is it dry or am I lying? We got overcast at 600, broken at 3200, 4500, yeah. Rain, I said beginning at, that would convert to 1010 local for Toronto time. And actually it's the same as Atlanta time. We should get there before the rain starts. All right. We'll go assuming a left for now. Excuse me. So yeah, we're good. 8,200, we got 9,000. And uh, Q and H, I said. Two nine or eight seven. Looks like we'll be coming up on Atlanta Center in about five minutes, I'd say, or something like that. Five, ten minutes. Looking beautiful, guys. <clears throat> and when we land, eight left. Hopefully they are still doing it left, but if we do it left, we're gonna bake it on the right. We'll go to concourse, whatever, Charlie, Delta, somewhere in the middle maybe. Perfect time as I stop the music. Uh, 32975. 
Atlanta Center, good evening, Delta 386, checking in, flight level 380. Delta 386, Atlanta Center, clock 2034. Southwest 2720, leaving my airspace, radar service center, frequency approved. Southwest 2720, thanks, have a good day. Delta 386, radar contact, 20 miles east, South Alaska, follow 38, welcome. Thank you. Atlanta Center, Delta 380, Atlanta 11, 14, Block. Drone in the party, flight level 350, inbound Montgomery. Drone in the party. <clears throat> American 2556, Atlanta Center, welcome to the party, squawk 2037. <laughs> this guy's cool. 2037, uh, It's a party tonight, guys, you heard him. Delta 2351, level 14,000. Ooh, we got a field right there. Delta 2351, Roger. Delta 2351, Atlanta Center, come and maintain level 260. I'm flight level 260, Delta 2351. Number, uh, uh, citation 6206 Delta, descend on maintain 12 Citation 2 Romeo Foxtrot. Down to 12,000, Delta. Delta 2857, with you climb into a flight level 140. Who's the aircraft calling? <laughs> aircraft calling, repeat your call sign one more time. Delta 2857. Delta 2857 on the Southern Common, maintain follow the 250. Up to 250, thank you. La la la. La la la. Oh, cool, this is backup radio, so a fourth one. United 746, contact Axel Center, 135, Niner 2, Center on 135, Niner 2, United 3. It's currently on uh, Data Link, so VHF3 is the Data Link as well. The Toronto ATIS, like in real life ATIS, always says, uh, no time information available by Data Link or unavailable by data link. Let me see if I can hear that. I miss, I haven't heard that in a while, guys. The live ATC ATIS for like Toronto in real life. Let me see if we could catch that real quick. Shout out Toronto ATC, doing their great job as usual. Um, let's see, ATIS. Delta 28, contact Axel Center 135.8 under his Alright, switching tracks. See you. Thank you. Delta 59, pretty nice. Your current climber does not look like you're going to make a level 310. Do me a favor, stop your climber at level 260. Alright, I'll just sit down for that. I'm going to be stopping at 260. Wind 100. There's a hit. So this is literally what the pilots listen to in real life as they're flying into Toronto. Always doing two four left. Goose and small bird activity. What a Canadian advisory. Inform ATC that you have information uniform. Ah, uh, so Toronto ATIS is uniform. Good evening, we're on the ground at Wolf, requesting IFR to Atlanta. Q. November 36, Mike Dulu, contact at Monarch Approach on 133.47. We got David Walsh in the house. David Walsh, thank you for your subscription. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. I hope you are enjoying this flight. I hope uh, you enjoy the content on the channel and welcome aboard, my friend. Hello. 
thank you. All right. Looking good, guys. Sorry, drop the 17. Let me get an early disconnect. Jablo 17, uh, radar service, terminal, frequency, radar service, terminal, frequency, radar service, terminal, frequency, Delta 2411, leave my airspace, radar service, terminal, frequency, 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 radar Atlanta Center, Cessna, November 7069 Golf, with you at 3500. Tower 7069 Golf, Atlanta Center, welcome. Good with day, you. Atlanta Center, American 1180, with you sending through flight level 284. American 1180, Atlanta Center, squawk 2004. Clock 204, American 1180. Atlanta Center 89 Delta 410. Yeah, I love this engine drone sound. Number 829 Delta, Atlanta Center. Sounds Clark, so realistic. 2040, American 1180. American 1180, radar contact 30 miles northeast of Greensboro, level 270. Descend via the Chesley Fire Rival, Charlotte Landing South, Charlotte Altimeter 2994. Roger, send you the two little five rival in uh, Charlotte landing south in Charlotte altimeter 2994 for American 1180. The kids going places. American 1180, you the ILS 18 Center into Charlotte. Citation 06 Delta, contact Axel Center 135 point nine or two. <laughs> 135 point nine or two, 06 Delta. Good night. American 1180, you can expect ILS 18 left. Roger, we'll expect the ILS. I'll ask 180 for American 1180. Atlanta Center, good evening, Southwest 490, uh, flight level 114,000. Flight level 114,000, contact Houston Space Control. What? Number 829 Delta, radar contact uh, 20 miles southeast of Shelby, we'll level 410, welcome. Southwest 490, comment, maintain level 350. 350 Southwest 490. Atlanta Center, Delta 2960, Huntsville International Airport requesting IFR to Atlanta. I don't control Huntsville, contact me when airborne. Roger. Delta 5949, descent on maintain for oval 240, contact Jacksonville Center 13592. That guy basically has to get a pop-up IFR, I guess, because it's an uncontrolled airfield, it sounds like. Uh, can you be the altitude one more time? Follow 240. Contact two four departure when airborne. Two, Jacksonville, one three five nine two yeah. In that case, I think in real life they would call approach maybe on their cell phone or flight service station to get their IFR clearance, perhaps. Since there's no uh, tower. Southwest 2772, radar service, 700, frequency, approved. Southwest 2772, good evening, Atlanta Center, JT26, Atlanta, Center, 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 About 110 miles to the top of the set. Uh, 
Hudson King says, can I request another song? Uh, yeah, like I said, Hudson King, songs are kind of tricky, man. That's one thing that's difficult for me to accommodate, you know what I'm saying? Especially because we're going to start getting ready for the arrival. Our Throw it out there, though. It just says it's a chill song. It has to be copyright free, so if you're sure of that, sure. But also, I'm trying to listen to ATC, you know, because he might give us um, dissent any any time. So maybe wait till we land and let me know what it's called. I stopped my own songs now. I'm trying to get ready for this arrival. Two Door Cinema Club, what you know. Cool. Delta 2351, descent on the main chain, level 240. Alright, descent flight level 240, Delta 2351. Yeah, that's a dinger. That's a king. That, I'd get ding uh, with a copyright claim for that one. That's a popular song. If you go to YouTube Hudson King and you search copyright free music, specifically copyright free music, if it specifically says that in the title or the channel uh, channel title or the song title, then I can play that for you. Otherwise, if it's just like any song, I uh, definitely can't and because uh, I'll get in trouble. And um, like I said, I played your or, uh, that uh, cool uh, hip hop song you told me earlier, which is a, a really good song, by the way. Um, I'll, ch I'll see tomorrow if YouTube had an issue with it or not. But I think as long as you played like little bits and pieces, like a few seconds at a time, it might be okay. But there's no point in that anyway. That's kind of like ruining the song, you know? That's the tough part about YouTube. It's super, super sensitive about uh, copyright. Believe me, there's a lot of songs I would want to play H Hudson King, but can't do it. I gotta stick to the free ones. Guys, one thing I noticed I read in the update notes for the Phoenix, for the newest Phoenix patch is, um, or update, it's, <coughs> they fixed an excessive nose down uh, ballooning factor that happens when you go from flap 2 to flap 3, which actually I noticed when I was intercepting the glide last night. So typically you intercept the glide slope on flap two, but last night I was just kind of being cowboy. I uh, went like flaps three, I believe, as we went to go get the glide slope, and I noticed we went like such an excessive, like not excessive, but we went like this. I was like, holy, okay, I know once you extend flaps, it's kind of balloon a little bit, but relax there. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> Funny enough. Um, Three, five, I noticed zero, it today zero, in the four, change four, log for the newest update that they fixed that, so we'll see. Brendan no, says yes, just did a second landing with the update, nine, no eight. nose dive with flaps 3, and the nose actually four. comes up when you pull back, whole new world. Brendan, you're making me excited now. Now, don't get me wrong, a little bit of a ballooning uh, is, is normal, a little bit of a pitch down, but not excessive like it was. That's cool. Good to know. Oh, that looks amazing. City lights. Let's see. Let's play a little game. What heading are we? Okay, I'm heading 230, for example. Roughly. Say 233. Okay. <clears throat> Where's the runway? There was another one. Okay, that one. Let's see. I'm gonna try to guess the my, the the runway heading. So if I'm going two three zero and that looks kind of parallel to me, I'm going two three zero. Ah, don't let me lose it. I'll say it's a little bit inward. We'll call it. Runway 25 or 26, something like that. 1180, turn 30 degrees to the right. This is on maintain 7,000. 
Let's see, what airport is that? Kilo. Kilo Hotel, Kilo Yankee. Okay, let's see. Let's see how close we were with our guests. Kilo Hotel, Kilo Welcome Yankee. Center, this is Delta 71 checking in with you at flight level 330. I said 26 ish? 24. Close. Lock. So that, that's Hickory, North Carolina. I said it should be runway 2526 ish. It's 24. Close. Hudson King, click, click this button. Are you in the Phoenix or in an Airbus? Click your approach button. Actually, any any plane you're in, click, click the approach button. Basically, Hudson King, when you're on final, you're ready to intercept the final approach course. You can usually put your loke on. The only difference with the loke and the approach mode is, um, or even if you don't click the loke, if you just stay on nav mode and you're just going towards the airport on final, the only difference with that and clicking that is the approach mode gives you vertical uh, descent, whereas it catches the glide slope. Whereas if you just leave it on nav, it'll go straight. If you keep it on loke, it'll go straight towards the runway. Atlanta Center, Southwest 2109 at about flight level 10. Also, Hudson King, in the Airbus, yeah. make sure you open the, uh, your click the uh, LS. That activates your landing system that allows you to see the glide slope. Otherwise, the, if, if you click approach, you might uh, capture the glide slope and go down on it, but you won't actually see the uh, magenta marking for both the look and the thing. So make sure you have LS on under 10,000 feet. I've forgotten that a lot of times myself. I'd be like, why is the localizer not coming in? But we're descending. <laughs> Little do you know, oops, didn't turn that bad boy on. Delta 2449, leaving my airspace. Over in our service, Sherman Earthquake, let's change the crew, don't crash in the river. Whoa. Thank God, appreciate it. Delta All right, it's 9 o'clock, so you know what that means. I think the new METAR should be available for Hotlanta. Number 7069, Golf, I got to altimeter 319-65. First, let's do it the radio way. 2 3 It's 2 9 3 2 9 3 2 9 3 Golf. One, American one, Airlines, one, one, three, a few miles out of um, Atlanta Center, just checking in. So maybe it's too early to pick up the ATIS for now. We'll go back to calm one. American 113, what's their present position? Uh, current position is 0384 miles we'll outside just get it through the Phoenix of uh, Jackson Hartsfield. Uh, squawk, can we let me get the squawk here one second. Squawking 7122 American 113. And American 1118, we need to reflect lower. American 1118, I'll have lower for in just a minute. Good Light rain now. Light rain now. American 113, call me in about 80 more miles. Call you about 84 miles, American 113. American 1180, this will maintain 4,000, advise airport inside. We're down 4,000, we'll advise when we got the airport, American 1180. 21, pressure rising rapidly. Okay. Half a statue, miles light rain. American 11 we got the field. 
American 780, Roger. Visual approach, runway 18 center. Here for the visual 18 center, American 1180. Delta 386, what runway should we expect in Atlanta? Um, that the runway that's happening will be given to you by Atlanta approach. Cross on the at and maintain 14,000 on altimeters 2987. 2987 and we'll cross Aussie at 1414,000 Delta 386. All right, let's 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 start, uh, we'll start our descent in about 30 miles, but we've been cleared for it pretty much. We'll go Aussie 1414,000. So runway assignment, I don't know guys, I have a funny feeling because it's coming out of 210 that it's switched to 26, but here's my dilemma right now. My star that I have in the box is, I believe, it was Aussie one for. Actually, you know what? We'll change it. It's fine. We'll change it. It's fine. We'll change it if we have to. Here's what I do. I already know eight left is set, right? Right now, you always want to think like, how could I be ahead? So, if I come here, if I go yeah, apply METAR. Same weight um, as before, and we'll go switch it. For example, we'll take 26 left. Now we don't know which two sixes they'll give us, but we can just. Um, shortest one is like 26 right, whatever. We'll go 26 right. That way we're being conservative. So we, that way I've now checked my uh, and auto brakes low with idle movers. That way I know whichever runway I get, I'm good with the landing performance. And uh, we can go ahead and start a shallow descent. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the flight test the captain speaking, we're starting our descent now towards Atlanta. It's a little bit of light rain and uh, 20... 21 degrees down in Atlanta, seasonably, unseasonably warm. Uh, on behalf of Delta, I'd like to thank you for flying with us and uh, cabin crew. At this time, I would ask you to please uh, prepare the cabin for arrival. We'll cross Aussie at and maintain 1414,000 and we'll get runway assignment on approach contact. Uh, Aussie. Number 707, yeah, okay. Cool. Right base for runway 17. Right base runway 17 or enter right base for runway 17. I've got 2987. Uh, Brendan Berry says, In my experience, I need to intercept the localizer first before engaging a probe, or I can overfly the glide slope. Don't know why, but with localizer intercepted first, I never overfly it. Yeah, well, Brendan. Um, Usually when you're approaching, so you approach such that the glide slope is above you typically. So when you capture it, if you just click look and you forget and you start to go past that glide slope signal, then you miss it. But if you put approach, then it'll catch it. Um, the issue is sometimes the reason why you don't always automatically just click approach is sometimes you can have a false glide slope capture. So your localizer is aligned for one runway but there's a closer field under under you, and you might if it's if that field happens to be aligned, the glide slope signal for that field with your path, you might accidentally uh, uh, capture that one. Now I know you would say, well, how? Because it has its own frequency. Don't ask me that. But uh, that's what I've heard. I think that's why usually they put the localizer first and then the glide slope. You're not a two two one zero, not American eleven eighty. All right, shallow descent. So I'm assuming Atlanta approaches online. Yeah, actually one twenty four point six. Atlanta, two different approaches. So we'll see which one the frequency is. And we got tower online. Beautiful. Looking good. So the current star that we're on accommodates the eight left, the right, and nine left right, and even if they do two six left or two seven right, I'm good. Otherwise, I might have to change it to another star. 
Either way, it doesn't matter. We're not going to worry about the star. We're going to come all the way to Ozzy, so it doesn't matter. We're going to just change the runway if need be. Yeah, Brendan, that's pretty much pretty much the reason. All, all approaches, Brendan, is it's a combination of now I'm going to intercept localizer signal and glide slope signal in any aircraft. That's what approaches. And loc is just the horizontal. Atlanta Center, Cessna, seven zero six nine golf pod. Just want to clarify: Did you say uh, left or right base or right downwind for uh, one seven six nine golf? Right base. Right base for runway one seven six nine golf. Thank you. So far, so good with the weather. That's why I haven't. Uh, Center, United it's amazing. The, uh, I haven't turned on the seatbelt sign. It's amazing how many different fields you see on your way when you're I'm traveling over the states, heading, especially uh, the east coast. There's like an airport everywhere. Fly runway heading clear for takeoff. Uh, how many have we seen tonight on our route of flight? American 1180 turn left heading 350. Left 350 So Hudson King, like I said, you would activate the glide slope by clicking the approach button and make sure that's on as well. Landing system, approach button. Those lights look so good. Is that like the interstates and stuff? Excuse me. American 1180, uh, D1, the original 418, left for 18 center this time. Oh, we'll take 18 center again. Alright, American 1180, expect 18 center. Federal, expect 18 center, American 1180. Center, Center, Polar 981, heavy, flight level 350. Hello, good evening. Caller 90, you want Atlanta Center to send via descent to arrival? Descent to arrival, descent to Cargo 981. Caller Cargo 90, you want Atlanta Altimeter 2989. 2989, thanks. Caller Cargo 981. Atlanta Center, I'm going to be abandoning my flight. I'm just going to go take a single engine up and have some fun instead of Batson. So I uh, wish you a great night. I'm going to be long enough. Good night, see ya. See ya, thanks for the entity. So American 1180, just have to maintain 3000, advise field inside. Sound 3000, we got the field, American 1180. American 1180, clear for visual approach, runway 1818 center. Clear for the visual 18 center, American Are you noticing more wind sound on flight deck? Center, My Delta only problem with the update was that maybe they the should tone out. Um, uh, who's the aircraft? It seems. Delta I, I, to be quite honest, Brendan, I don't notice that much of a difference. It's always loud to me. Delta <laughs> As like a streamer, I'm used to like four hours of just in my head. It hasn't seemed like annoyingly louder to me specifically, but. Maybe that's something that you've made a better Delta observation on. I was like, is that another field? Uh, Maybe. Delta, say, uh, Looks like taxiway lighting. Two, zero, six, seven. Delta Delta Same with the airports. Delta contact over Jackson. One, two, twelve thousand. Climb and maintain level two, zero, zero. Climb All right, down we go on the profile. Zero, zero, Let's go ahead and turn on the fasten seatbelt signs. Hey, Flask, you should stop 1847 back with you again, 225. Another field. Airports galore, guys. Should talk away, 1847 at Atlanta Center, hello, users, squad 2057. 20, 50, 7. Stock rate 1847. KLZU, perhaps? Maybe that's what that is. Atlanta Center, United 451, 4300, climbing 8000. American 1180, runway 18 Center, clear to land. Clear to land, 1-8 Center, American 
Be down at 451, uh, radar contact, turn right heading to, turn right heading 240, climb and maintain follow 230. <coughs> turn right heading 240 and climb and maintain flight level 230, United 451. American Airlines 113, checking in about 280 miles out from Jackson Hartsfield. American 113, Atlanta Center, Squawk 2001. Squawk 2001, American 113. We're depressurizing, 350 feet a minute. Cargo 981, how are you enabled? Clear right, Death Star. Confirm the position for 981. Clear right, Death Star. Death Star, okay, 981. Interesting. The sky looks too Follow our cargo, now you have you proceed direct, dead. Okay, direct six, now it's better. Follow our cargo, 981. Right. 451, clear direct, Jojo, climb and maintain level 320. Clear direct, Jojo, and climb and maintain flight level 320, United 451. American 113, we had our contact over Greece for a oh, 550. Welcome. Happy to be here, American 113. Nicely on profile, guys. Delta 2960, cross Bravo, and I'd maintain 1212,000 at T5. Atlanta altimeter, 2989. Cross Maddox, uh, maintain flight level 120. Delta 2960. Not the speed. Hudson King, it won't, it won't manage your speed. But uh, oh, it will it manage one, two, you bringing you down to the runway, yeah. The speed you have to either set yourself or uh, through the managed speed in the FMC in the box. General Kenobi, good morning. General, did you say General Kenobi? Or did I just hear that? American 113, what are you direct to at the moment? Direct to Atlanta Hartsfield, KTL, uh, or uh, Kilo Alpha Tango Lima, uh, American 113. American 113, Roger. American 2027 through foot level 200 on the Chiz D5. American 2027 Atlanta Center, American 2127 Atlanta Center, squawk 2027, this is going to be at the Chesley Fire Rival Shuttle landing south, I'll submit her 2996. Chesley Fire 2996 for American 2127, also squawk 2027. America 2127, radar contact 20 miles northwest of Greensboro, level 100. Talk by 1847, cross Chipper at 13,000, at the Atlanta Altimeter 2989. Chipper 13,250, stack by 1847. American 1150, requesting taxi to the terminal. Nope, no, it is. American 1180, taxi to the Echo. Echo, American 1180. So we'll get, we'll uh, just right, click on it. Delta Lee, Mayor Space, Radar Service, Chipper, Frank, what's in your crib? Information Alpha. 
two one zero at eleven, two and a half miles statue, miles uh, visibility, light rain, broken twenty two hundred, three thousand, overcast five hundred. All right. Delta Looks like the ceiling is trending downward because it was overcast yeah. six hundred before now it's five hundred. But we got information alpha. Two nine or nine or nine or or two nine or eight nine or. And we got information alpha. Looking good. Another field. Sheesh. Fields galore. American 2127, expect 18 left. Putting 18 left, 2127. Delta 2556, Charlotte Altimeter, 2906, it's going to be at the Jones C2 arrival. American 2556, it's going to be at the Jones C2 arrival, Charlotte Altimeter, 2996, landing south. Well, the Marcus says, I feel spoiled with the latest Phoenix and, update. Uh, really, guys? It's that different? It can't be that different. It wasn't a major overhaul of an update. It was just a patch. We'll see. Delta 115 at Maybe we'll go for a floater. We have a long ass runway. It is raining though. But maybe we'll try to have some fun. We'll try to float it in case. Hello, uh, Center, Delta 627 is with you. Uh, in case she wants to fly, we'll let her fly. Uh, we're, um, about, the patch uh, kept me from slamming into the, the ground. This sounds promising. Welcome, Marcus. 2042, Delta 627. 2989. So we'll get ready for that. Few hundred feet to go. American 1180, we're logging off and shutting down. That's a great air traffic control. We'll see you later. 11. We are descending to a little bit of soup, but we'll Delta keep an eye on that. 3347, Delta 386. Thank you. 3347. Hold on. 2989, fly the aircraft first. 3347, did you say? Alright. I said 2-9-er, 8-9-er. And we got... I know, check. Associated. 2-9-er, 8-9-er. Alright, and that was frequency was 1... 33475, 133475, check. Contact Atlanta Center, 132.97, yeah. 132.97, uh, Delta 534. Atlanta approach, good evening, Delta 386, descending out of 117,000 for 114,000 at Aussie. Delta 386, Atlanta approach, runway 9 right, provide you have information alpha. Niner right, we'll, and we have Alpha, Delta 386. All right, Niner right, let's go. Here we go. So uh, Atlanta, Atlanta approach, uh, November 8835, Charlie, holding short of runway 30, ready, uh, 7, ready for departure. 8835, uh, Charlie, release for departure. Cancel, cancel. I put 9 Fly left. heading 0, Niner 0. Clearance void is not off in five minutes. It's not off in five minutes. Advise Atlanta Center, question Atlanta departure of intention within one zero minutes. Change advisor frequency approved. Uh, turn heading zero nine zero and advise uh, Atlanta of uh, intentions within one zero minutes. Uh, November right, 8, 8, 8, 35, set via should be easy. Down to 29.60, to the maintain, 9,000, exit out. Exit out, 9,000, that's 29. By the way, 2,9 or 8,9, 10,12, 10,12. Full hour, 9,8, 1,9, right? 
Polar 981 Heavy. Yo, Sim Pilot, what's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Advise you have information Alpha. Yes, we do have Alpha, Lady 9 right, Polar Cargo 981. So nine or right, let's go change the charts real quick. Nine or right. Via easy. If you just want to verify that I'm going direct to Guy Golf Bernie Austin, at two seven seven hundred Yankee, I'm not gonna follow my standard Galvin approach. Oh, Dallas that's point nine sixty Glavin is an arrival, not an approach, and affirmative. You're going direct, guy. And India uh, Foxtrot Victor uh, uh, uniform do. November. That looks like a V, but Sorry, it's uniform one hundred eight point sure, uh, nine zero nine zero five. That's set Dallas and point check. Nine Roger, no problem. Reduce speed to two one zero. Then just the main thing six thousand. All right, one four fourteen thousand. Reduce to two one zero. Just the main thing six thousand. One four fourteen thousand. ILS minimum. Got a three eighty six. Just the main thing one three thousand thirteen thousand. Dyna 1313000, Delta 386. Polar 981 Heavy, cross fries at 210 knots. Alright, let's go take a right, hold of the speed, 250. Heavy. Got a 2960, Continental Atlanta approach, 124.6. Dyna 1313000. ILS minimum, category 1 is 1226. Niner right checks, 1226. Um, right here. Whoa, 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 no decimal. Checks. Landing performance. We'll quickly change it to Niner, right? Uh, apply METAR, everything is good. So, if we do Niner right, we're still good. With a 15% safety factor, 7,800 feet, we have 9,000 checks. Let's float. So down to 1,313,000. Depressurizing that checks. And uh, we're going to soon be entering visible precipitation or visible moisture, so we're going to look out for icing. Uh, Verlity says, I love the Phoenix A320 engine room. Me too. It's so nice, man. This, is it the CFM 56Bs or whatever it is? I tried to buy it like an hour ago, but it seems like PayPal isn't working. Yeah, verify PayPal hasn't been working for a while. True. Welcome to the chat, guys. All right. Uh, we see the VNAV going under us now. That's fine. We're on vectors and... Uh, Island approach, uh, November. Correct, so we're not on vectors, we're on nav, but uh, we're on um, ATC now, so we're maintaining 1313,000. Departure, ident, climb and maintain 4,000. Ident and climb and maintain 4,000, November uh, 35, Charlie. For 8835, Charlie, rear contact 3 miles east of Gwinnett County Airport, turn right heading 250. I love how we've right had heading two full, five zero, November with a little bit of, with the exception of that little Washington airspace area, we've had full ATC tonight, guys, from JFK all the way to Atlanta. Shout out ATC, uh, shout out Vatsim, every single one of you guys, whether you watch the stream or not, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for adding that little bit of realism to our stream and everybody else's experience. Appreciate you all on behalf of the whole Flight Sim community. Thank you. All right, we'll maintain, uh, you know what? We haven't been instructed anything with speed. I'm going to go a little bit faster. We're at 8835 Charlie. Hopefully that will prompt, prompt them to bring us down a little sooner. Uh, advice we have information on. We'll bring it down to 250 at 1010,000. Uh, 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 November 835 Charlie. Delta 386, for the main chain, 12,000, cross fries at 210 knots. Okay, this is going to maintain 12,000, cross cloud at one two, uh, 210 knots for Delta 386. Delta 386, negative, cross fries at 210 knots. It's on a 9 ride transition. If you don't have the 9 ride transition, please advise. We have the 9 right uh, loaded from uh, EASY, the initial fix for uh, Delta 386. 
Okay, but the runway will also change your uh, star transition. If you have uh, cloud, that means you're not on right transition. So I'll please fly present heading, this is going to maintain 1 2 thousand. Fly present heading, this is going to maintain 1 to 12,000. Appreciate that, Delta uh, 386. Yeah, yeah that's so why. Sometimes you have to reload the arrival as well if it changes uh, by the runway. Yeah, it's a little tricky when you're like halfway through the star, so it's kind of like, what? Do we, where do we take this, the new star from? That was kind of my dilemma, 386. Okay, I understand. So next time, just uh, you can set it to heading mode and reload the star, and then just, just go direct to your next waypoint. Roger that, Delta 386, thank you. So let's go heading. How do we sync our heading here? Right here, we'll fly present heading. Approach, good afternoon, approaching Shepard, uh, Stockway 847134. Shepard 1847, Atlanta approach, runway 9 arrive, advise you have Alpha. All right, we're flying and present heading. We do have it, 1847. So he's doing Order us a favor, he's going to vector us. Remember I mentioned that, guys? I was thinking about it. I'm like, I need to change my star. But then I'm like, I'm already at Aussie, so I don't feel like seeing how to change my star. But yeah, I guess uh, for Atlanta or all these uh, big airports, you have to. I was kind of hoping... Um, it, it, it's kind of tricky. Like, I need to know my runway a little before. You know how I tried at, asking center and they didn't tell us until approach? I know that's quite realistic, but at the same time, it's like, at least maybe give me a... Because you see on my flight plan what I've, uh, the, the star that I have. So if it's different, maybe give me a little hint or something. Taxi track? Yeah, I have it up, uh, Marcus. We're doing nine right. So we're going to vacate to the left and we're going to need to cross 2-7 right, or 9 left pretty much. We'll go to Concourse, Charlie, Delta, whatever, whatever's closer. I usually, okay, that's a good trick, VR Simpali. I usually choose another star real quick, then reselect Aussie arrival and choose the assigned approach. Okay, so fly present heading, change your star, go back to Aussie because that because both stars share Aussie, I understand, and then uh, choose the sign approach. Gotcha. This is why I love track, guys. And are we going to go in the soup soon? So if I go, now that I have a little bit of time, I'll go to my star for the... Nine right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, it was this pretty much the same. I got it. I just had to change the transition. Durr. Sorry, guys. Trying to run a freaking stream at the end of the night. That's what happens. I don't even need a new star. I just, just the transition. November thirty-five. Charlie requesting the uh, jazz transition. It's literally uh, the same star. Uh, runway eight left. He, I just had to change it from the eight, 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 eight left to nine right, right, right transition. Final. Expecting vectors to final, 88, uh, 35, Charlie. It's a little wonky with the MiG-2, the way it works. Also, you can add both expected approaches on in the secondary, so you can change it on the fly. Okay, so maybe copy my active into the secondary, change the uh, uh, approach to another one. That way, I, if I get cleared for the other one, I just swap it over, gotcha. Uh, direct running. Delta 1230, land departure, radar contact, climb maintain 14,000. Interesting. Thanks, VR Simpilot. And guys, if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to click that like button. I'd really appreciate it if you support the channel and uh, it's free and it helps the algorithm pick it up and send it to more folks like yourself who are interested in this type Delta of content. Delta 1230, proceed right, Smokey. Delta it's funny how it landed Delta me right 386, away. Delta like, turn right heading 270. Right heading 270, Delta 386. It's funny he, how he already knew what we're what our issue is. He's like, no, negative. It's the nine right transition. If you have cloud, which is the one that not, uh, eight left transition, you're doing going the wrong way. <laughs> so on the ball. So he's manually basically and bringing me. Delta 70, we uh, broke through the top. Uh, I should just. Can I go change it now, or is that? Got the top twenty, Roger. Delta Sunday, contact Atlanta Center, 132.9 or 7, see ya. Sarah, 1397, bye. Delta 1847, flight heading 160, vector pre approach. 160, vectors approach, stock 1847. Okay, maybe it's too late at this point.
you weren't the first happens all the time. Yeah, VR Sim Pilot. Um, I had a stream. West. It was uh, our call sign was WestJet four sixteen. I still remember. Brendan probably remembers. He was watching. I remember. He's like, this is the reason why I don't go on VAT. <laughs> Got a three eighty six. Kind of approach one two. Question: Does that maintain seven thousand? And kind of approach one two four point six. Down to seven thousand and contact approach one two four point six delta three eighty six. Okay, seven thousand. Turn off eighteen forty seven. Kind of approach one two four point six. Down to two ten, like he said. One two four point six. Spinning this knob like a madman. One two four point six. You got to catch those last fives. They're tricky. Hello, Air nine eighty one heavy turn rattling three six zero. Maintain present speed. Maintain present speed. Turning right three six zero. Polar nine eighty one. Polar nine eighty one heavy. Expedite descent. Expedite descent. Polar nine eighty one. Line, line approach delta 386, 11,700, descending 7,000, 210 on the speed. Delta 386, on approach. Oh boy, all right, expedite your descent. Give me your best rate of descent to 5,000 feet. Maintain 5,000, best rate down, run my summit is on a run. Best rate down to 5,000, delta 386. Okay. Speed brakes. Passengers are going for a little ride. <coughs> well, uh, two one zero. Okay, we'll go flaps one, please. Ten thousand. Actually, we'll keep that for when we're clear land. Cycle that. All right. 210 on the speed check. Polar 991 heavy turn right heading 075, intercept on the right localizer, just gonna maintain 3 down. Turn right heading 075, just send a right, 3000, expect localizer. Right ATC here, right will right. work Polar with newer VATS and pilots, never VATS and pilots, don't be scared. Heavy, uh, newer VATS and pilots, don't be scared, read up and on procedures and watch some streams. Yeah, and guys, uh, exclamation point VATS and in chat. This is a good time to plug my tutorials because I got a good one. And, uh, is it exclamation mark? Yeah, it is. I got two tutorials, guys. It's, it's 18, good tutorials. And oh shit. Okay, let's not overspeed the flaps here. Two stock eighteen forty seven at six. So eighteen forty seven, line of press, maintain four thousand. Four thousand. 1847. Alright. Let's go engine anti ice on. And I believe it's set down to 5,000, so let's go 5,000. Polar 981 heavy. Maintain 180 knots, Phil Bernie at Bernie Contact Tower, 119.1. I will give him best way down. I don't know how. Good night. <laughs> That's no problem. Maintain 180 and 2 Bernie, then contact our 190 decimal 1. And, uh, our best rate, uh, guys, is basically the rate that uh, allows 91. us not to uh, overspeed our flaps. Spanish, and but then I, realized I know we're supposed to be 210, but we're going to cheat a little bit just to get yeah, our best thanks, rate thanks down. Bye -bye. We're going down to 5,000. Set of 386, maintain 4,000, base turn about 2 miles. Maintain 4,000, delta 386. Alright, we don't need this. Delta 386, turn right heading 360. Right heading 360, Delta 386. Talk 1847, going to maintain 3000, turn 10 degrees left. 310 left, stock 1847. Oh, 360. 4000. Open the scent at this point. All right, I'm gonna go, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Confirm speed our discretion Delta 386. Okay. 
Talk 18, 47, turn left and 125, intercept low blood. 125 to intercept, we do have the field inside 1847. Delta 386, reduce speed to 170. Found 170 knots, uh, Delta 386. Delta 386, turn right heading 075, intercept the localizer. Right heading 075, intercept the localizer, Delta 386. Attack 1847. Alright, let's go low. 075. Clear dial approach. Present speed, still burning. Alright, we'll go 210 until Barney, clear dial runway 9 right 1847. Ooh, that's quick, Attack 1847. Uh, maintain 180 knots for a radar till Barney and connect tower Barney 119.1. Alright, I thought so. We'll do 180 till Barney, Barney 191. Delta 386, reduce speed to 160, and join the local line. Standard 160, join the localizer, localizer Delta 386. Give me gear down. Actually, flaps 2 first, please. Give me flaps 2. Speed check flaps 2. Wings level, we'll do gear down. So 160. We're trying to maintain that 4000. Auto thrust doing its thing. That's fine. Delta 386 is over, easy, cleared ILS, runway 9 right approach. Cleared 9 right approach, Delta 386. Alright, gear down. Delta 386, speed 160 to Bernie, cleared ILS, 9 right approach. 160 to Bernie, cleared ILS, 9 right approach, Delta 386. Delta 386, traffic 12 o'clock, 3.5 miles, a Boeing 737 out of 3000, do you have them inside? Traffic in sight, uh, Delta 386. Delta 386. Follow traffic for your visual approach, runway 9 right, and uh, speed 160 to Bernie still. 160 to Bernie, uh, follow the traffic, cleared visual 9 right, Delta 386. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go. In engine anti ice can come off. 162. Oh, yeah, we don't even know where the hell Bernie is. Oh, no, Bernie's right here. Okay, good. Okay. We're clear for the visual, but we're just going to take it on the ILS. Landing system on, check. What the hell? Is there a 33 knot tailwind? Are you freaking kidding me right now, guys? Set a 386, reduce the final approach speed now. Contact tower, 119.1. Down to final approach speed uh, over to tower, 119.1, Delta 386. Thank you. Yeah. 119er, let's go slow it down now. Uh, performance, activate. We'll go flaps 3. Speed check flaps 3. 119er.1. One. 119er.1. Guys, we got a 33 knot tailwind or a crosswind? Lord, why do you have to do this to me? Sorry, 222, I have the Roger contact departure. Ah, uh, flaps 3? Should I do flaps 3? I hope that dies down. Tower Delta 386, uh, visual 9 or right. Delta 386 left tower, a little less than three miles in trail of a Boeing 737 runway at nine right, clear land. Nine right, clear land, uh, Delta 386. 25, I'm hoping that'll slow down. Flap three, perhaps? Uh, okay, is it gonna be spicy? Mm, it's dying down, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Flaps full, flaps full, flaps full, we're good. What do you mean, not allowed? Uh, okay. Anywho. 500. Let's go flaps full anyway. It looks to be slowing down. Uh, gear down. We're good there. Let's go replay, record. And it's raining. 400. Let's put that on. All right, 17 knots, 15 knots, sh looking Stop pretty shitty. Delta cross runway, 200. none left, join Lima to parking. 
Alright, Dixie, cross 9 left, Lamina Park, stock rate 47. Okay, I got it. 100. Pull up. 40, 30, 20, retard. Jesus. Guys, that crosswind. Holy crap. Alright, so let's reverse screen this out. What the hell was that? We're down on the ground though. Alright, I said uh, we're gonna vacate on the left. How many, how much, uh, and the landing ground is on the 431. Ready to pick up our IFR. far we have off. Yeah, we came in a little spicy. Got 386 at Delta Cross, runway 9 left, and join Lima. You have a good night. At Delta Cross, 9 left, and join Lima, Delta 386. Good night. Delta 431, last tower, your clearance is on request, and by expect to PDC. Holy, the weather got gnarly. 431. Yeah, I, I uh, switched to, uh, I gave myself a little more approach speed that I didn't go managed in the end, Marcus. I added to my final approach speed. But that was gnarly. Sheesh. All I remember is like sink rate, pull up. I'm like, did we slam again? What happened? But that was uh, a little bit like gnarly in terms of the weather. All right, join Lima. Lima is not uh, this one. It's this is Mike. So let's go over to Lima. Welcome down to Atlanta, regardless, guys. VR Sim, thank you. Says good job. All right. Ah, uh, did we pass Lima? Actually, that might have been Lima. You know what we can do, right? Nobody's looking, nobody's looking. Literally like look back like a car. <laughs> Sim shenanigans. Alright, let's go Lima. I don't want to be like... Delta 386, you were told to go on Lima, you joined the ramp. Yeah, it started getting gnarly down in Atlanta real quick. runway we came in hot we were wibble wobbling all over the place hopefully we didn't have an engine strike because I did put a right input aileron input to uh, dip the wing into the right crosswind let's uh, go over to Delta we'll go to the next concourse that was fun guys the ATC part was super enjoyable I really loved it thank you again to uh, Vatsen um, landing was spicy. I think I saved it from being a slammer. I'm not sure if that was a slammer, but it was definitely not on center line because we were just fighting those cross. Like, I hear all the real pilots say these new gust winds are realistic and they're not messing around. And I love it. If, if V1 says these, this is how it is in real life, then I'm all for it, man. I'll fight it. I'll fight these gusts. Let's stick a right, right here. That'll do. Cheers, guys. Welcome down to Hotlanta. That was literally spice written all over it. Uh, we got 210. Did we stop the chrono? I don't think we did. Let's stop the chrono. Two hours and one minute, two and ten on um, 
the block. I'll go ahead and stop that now. Let's start the APU. Passengers can get up and chill, walk around. Marcus E says, good work. Thanks, brother. Uh, it's not realistic. Mitar in cattle says 260. Yeah, exactly. VR sim pilot, exactly. When I read the Mitar, I didn't expect the winds to be so... Check it. We are on live weather, real time. I don't know where those 15, 20 knot like, crosswinds came from. Microsoft weather is broken. Anyways, it was fun, guys. I, I, I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than I enjoyed the landing in Cancun. Um, yeah, it was, all, it was kind of hectic at the end because I was debating, do I do flaps three, do I do flaps full? But in the end, I saw it a little bit slowing down on us, the, the wind, so I just kept the flaps full. But I did add a little bit extra on my... I came, yeah, we came in at 141. Let's see, what was our V app? I guess it's gone now. All right, uh, yeah, that's fine. So we'll go here, we'll go here, here, here. All right, I need some water, guys. Give me one moment, because my throat at this point is so freaking, it's like Mojave Desert. I forgot to even clean up. Let's put that up. I'll be right back. Give me one minute, and then we'll get to the replay and all that. Guys, we even managed to get a thank you out of Ma out of uh, Atlanta Vatsim ATC today. When you get a thank you out of them, instead of like, hey, what are you doing? That means you did a pretty all right job. We are simple. Uh, oh. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and... Right. Oh, see, they just went miss, because they probably Delta got unstable. Delta 7 Land Tower, roger. Fly heading 0, 9, or 0, climb maintain 4,000. There they are. 0, 9, 0, 4,000, yeah, these gusts aren't messing around. I think that guy just went miss. Two one zero knots. That's the aircraft that just went miss. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy to land that Phoenix bird right now. I don't know what he's flying. What is he flying? No idea what he's flying. But yeah, it's uh, gnarly. Let's clean up the lights as well. We'll go... Wipers are so quiet now, I don't even like... Oh! Yeah, weather is... It's definitely not going with the... It's not driving with the METAR, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Sorry, these were already off. We'll turn our strobes off. Actually, beacon can stay on. Wing lights can come off. Alright. We'll wait to unload the packs. Should we go snoop around Atlanta Airport? So I disconnected off that sim. Guys, I'm not going to lie. For a moment there, I thought that I might go off the runway. I, I was seriously considering going around. You never know. Never know with this big old bird. Now, uh, should we check the um, VR Sim says good stream, man. Also, appreciate you, VR Sim. Thank you, man. Um, what's it called? Um, shoot, I'm so tired at the end of the night, I can't even think anymore. Oh, yeah. Should I bother checking landing rate monitor? I'm nervous. 400. You know what? Considering it was gusty and uh, pretty unstable, I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Last night was 600. So yeah, this was... Considering it's really windy, I guess I'll take it. Could have could have ended up worse. We're here safe and sound. Hey, at least on the bright side, we got Sim Toolkit Pro, Pro in the 300. So I'll take that. <laughs> Let's see. I'll bring you guys over here. 
We got 379 and we got 408. Oh, do you have to put that word concerning? Come on. Come on. So we got 408 and we got 379. And um, oh, we touched way above, uh, right of center line. Sheesh. Yeah, it was a 1520 knot right crosswind. Makes sense. Should have put more left rudder. But we still managed it. Did we manage in the touchdown zone? Yes. Yes, we did. Way left of center line. I said right, I meant left. All right, we made it. Better than floating halfway down the runway and uh, then having to go around like the other guy did. I'll take it. Close that. All right. Let's see, our passenger's done. Let's get to the replay and we'll get out of here. Oh my god, and we just got to crash the desktop. No, I wanted to see that replay. Darn it. Do you guys ever get this? I got this the other day with the CRJ. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That sucks, guys. I was really looking forward to the replay. Well, I guess we'll end it right there then. Tonight, we're not going to have a replay. It is what it is. I'll bring you guys in this screen. At least you made it in, says Marcus. Yeah, imagine that were to happen on like short final or something, but I was really looking forward to that replay, Marcus. Um, but yeah, I still had fun, guys. Just another night, just another flight. Appreciate you, all of you guys. Let me give, at least since uh, we're not going to have replay, let's have a proper outro here. Um, who do we have in the house? Thanks to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. We had Mr. Gary joining us from the very beginning. Mr. Rafael Pereira. Hudson King. We got, um, of course, Brendan as always. We got Marcus. We got VR Sim Pilot and Verlity. Thank, thanks to all you guys for watching tonight. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep phoenixing. This is fun. I, I, I feel like I didn't get a proper feeling for the new update because of the, all the gusts and stuff. But at least we made it in. We didn't have to go around. And uh, I'll call that a win for tonight, guys. And shout out to Statui. I don't know where he is. But uh, shout out to you, my brother, wherever you are. And uh, until tomorrow, love you guys. See ya.